breathing deeply, as you've all, most of you done the, the track of um, doing the deep breathing. I did that, and I was just sitting there, and I was just following this energy, going up and down. And after a few minutes or so, I, I had like these full like, vibrations within, within my body, right from my face, my hand, my legs. It was that intense, the way I was breathing, like, like this. I couldn't, I couldn't move my face. My face was like this, like, like I'd be sucking on a lemon. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, I looked in the mirror, okay, my eyes were physically vibrating. I thought, okay, what, what's going on here? Lay down my bed to make these like vibrations go away. And uh, the, the, the sign on the door to my parents, my brother, do not disturb, you know. I was like, you know, just don't want anyone coming in. I didn't know why I was doing this, and I was freaked out with this like vibration state. And then I had a knock at the door from uh, my mother, you know, like, knock, knock, knock. Get this ready! And then me, the angry teenager at the time, I was like, F off, you know, like, I'm in this weird state. <laughs> and then down below I heard this voice saying, please come back later. And that was my physical body talking to my mother, saying, you know, something polite. And I was like, what? Who's that? <laughs> it sounded like me. And then every day after that, for a couple of years, I meditated every day. Had the had the form vibrations every single time. Had to, I was spinning out my body. Or I've never really explored because I was had these sensations of, you know, coming out and doing all sorts of things. Um, and it, it opened me up psychically. I started seeing uh, spirits. I started talking to them. I started having all sorts of like uh, telepathic sort of uh, communications with people. Don't worry, I can't read your thoughts. <laughs> um, and then I came here. And built this place up, and and uh, I had a cold. Like I was talking down some trees, I got a bit of a chill, and it's kind of like all those psychic abilities just were cut off. Um, it was really weird. There's something called head blind, where you just you can't have any like psychic phenomena going on. And I just felt like I was immortal again. It was really weird. Come in. Yeah. Yeah. What Hello. spirit is that? <laughs> That's the door spirit. Um, <laughs> it's called the wind. Just the wind. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a journey, and um, I reckon it was kind of like a taster to where I could be at. Um, I'm not here trying to promote myself with, you know, whatever, I'm in tune. It's, this is my own path, and I've been through some interesting experiences and adventures which I want to help guide you upon. If either you're here to explore your intuitive side, or perhaps you're here for a, your own experience, perhaps it's lucid dreaming, out of body, or maybe you want to be your own medium for yourself. Um, I've done mediumship for a number of years, done platform mediumships, uh, like psychic readings, but I don't, I don't want to do that anymore because I don't want to mess anyone's personal life up. You know, I could get something that's not fully clear. I know I, I can do this work, but I don't want to do it because I'm very cautious that I could probably direct someone in the wrong way. 